Hey, I'll tell you what, guys. I haven't been let down this much since my very first wife. If you are like me and OBS has been severely underperforming you, errors, glitches, not working, dying during midstream, echoes, echo, echo, all that crap that we've been dealing with, it's time to divorce OBS. There's a better option available. Stay tuned. I'll show you what that is. All right, guys, if you're like me and OBS has just been really, really, really just been giving you a hard time, uh, especially when it comes to interviewing more than one person, which is what I was running into, um, some very big issues with OBS. Um, I've got a much better way that I was able to find. I mean, I spent 11 hours today trying to get everything prepped for a major live stream I was happening, uh, having uh, later today with a large podcaster and it just ended up in an epic fail with just all the different audio problems and streaming issues that OBS seems to be having lately on the YouTube platform so I found a much better way and I feel that this is going to help you guys out too we can get this stream set up in minutes with multiple cameras and it's super super easy and super uh, user friendly especially for beginners uh, if you are more of an, uh, an, an advanced user with OBS hopefully this can help you out a little bit too but I know especially for new small guys like me this was a godsend for me so first we're gonna go to Lightstream now there was there is a loan company that's also called Lightstream so definitely don't want to get them confused so the website you're gonna go to is right here go lightstream.com so you click on that it's going to load you up onto their landing page or their home page. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the Lightstream Studio. So we're going to click on that and start streaming. Now, I've already used my account before, but if you are a new user, and again, this is completely free. If you are a new user, you click on what I just clicked. It's going to have you sign in. If you are a YouTube streamer, log in with your YouTube. What that does is that automatically configures all your settings, your stream URL, the whole nine yards. So you don't have to constantly change it like you do with OBS. It really is a seamless integration um, and you can get started. So once you've signed up for this, this is going to be your starting dashboard here. You can change the revolu or the resolution um, on your on your streaming. I don't stream any higher than 720 right now. Um, I do know because the upload time and with my internet connection where I'm at, it's not extremely fast. I'm kind of in rural Midwest right now on a property, but you may want to choose. Um, uh, something higher and since it doesn't look like it's offering higher it's one of two things either it's auto detect that my connection cannot do that or if it does it may be an additional package that you can uh, that you can purchase but we're just going to be focusing on what's free today um, so name your project we'll go ahead and name this um, it's going to be the YouTube review and so we're going to go and add layers. So in OBS, this is a little complicated for, especially for new people. I'm going to walk you through the quickest and easiest way to set this up. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to go ahead and start with an image for my background. Uh, I'm going to upload an image now for streaming on YouTube. The, the, um, the pixels that I have been using, what I was told to use, is 1920 and 1080. So what I did is I used a program called Snappa, which is what I use quite often for my graphics, and I created a 1920 by 1080 graphic that I use for my live streams. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that. What I did is I built a template so my data doesn't change, but the people that I'm interviewing or bringing on the show does change and so we can go ahead and enter the text here so there's my template loaded up here again this is my you know what I put on all of them so this really never changes but what I'll do is say if I am um, we'll just go ahead and enter my guess so we'll enter in the data here this is going to be um, at let's say guest name and we'll go ahead and change that font let's just go ahead and go to say 60 We'll move that over here. That's going to be a little too big. Let's go ahead and do 50. So it's going to be at guest name, and we'll go ahead and center that here on Facebook. And then what we'll do is that we will also uh, make another one for this one down here. So they actually um, do have an option, I believe, 
uh, to, or you can wrap the text and everything as well. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and make another text box. I thought there's a duplicate, and there probably is. I just didn't see it. Um, and then this will also be at a guest name for their Instagram, and we'll change that to say 50 here. So now we've already got the um, the text laid up on the graphics, or on the image, the background image um, for our stream. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the cameras. And this is why I absolutely love this system here. So we're going to add a camera here. This is my camera, and literally I just clicked on camera to add myself. Boom, there I am. That easy. Don't have to say anything else. My microphone's set up. Everything's everything's set up for this. And so I'm going to go ahead and resize this. And they have a crop feature. And I'm again, I'm just kind of going to do this a little bit, a little quickly for you all to see this. But what I'll do is I'll kind of fill in these blank template squares. And again, if you guys have a more effective way to do this, let me know. Um, and then you can use the arrow keys as well to see how that's, it's called bumping. See how I'm kind of bumping the graphic. So I'll go over here, I'll hit the crop. We'll move this over to the side here so it can fill in that square. So we'll crop about that big. Oh, we'll have to crop a little bit more. So you just kind of walk it in right here, kind of like what I'm doing, and crop it again. There it is. So it looks like I'm in the borders and everything. Whole nine yards, good to go. Now, and this is another one of the really cool features and why this is so quick to set up a stream, especially for interviewing people and getting different interfaces in. And also, too, if you did notice these graphics are not the same, you can choose what text you want to use. Again, I'm just kind of doing a... Uh, a, a quick uh, a quick crash course on this but you can change all the text you can max the text or match the text is up and everything it's it's not a big deal and so if I am wanting to again bring a guest in when it comes to this camera what I do is I select camera again from the drop down and then I invite a guest to my project see this right here so I'm going to do a, an invite link I'm going to go to the person that I'm doing this with, and I'm going to do it with my beautiful wife. And so what I'll do is I'll message my beautiful wife right here, my bunny, and I send them the link to this. And when I do that, they will click the link, and their camera and microphone and everything syncs and immediately goes into this. And I'll show you right now. Check this out. All right, and so there with my awesome editing skills, what I did is we went ahead and we added her, as you saw up here, and there she is right there. And so the computers are fairly close together, so you're going to hear a bit of an echo here. And so we're going to do the same with hers. And we're going to go ahead and oh, we're going to go ahead and take this camera. We're going to stretch it out. And then we're going to crop it. And there we go. So now you can see my beautiful wife, Wonder Woman, back there. <laughs> and uh, and now she's on. And so that mic and that webcam is all synced and ready to go. And since you signed in for your YouTube account, your YouTube is going to be automatically linked. And so what we do is... Oh, and another cool thing that I want to show you, too, is that you also with the people that you're having this conference or interview with, you have private guest chat. So right here, we can now speak privately 
outside of the other chat windows here in this in this setup which is really nice so and then if we want to go live we're going to go ahead and click go live it's going to send us over to YouTube and we are now live so we can go to our YouTube dashboard which is going to show us the options and kind of how everything is set up on the back end wise or we do have the option too to watch the stream on YouTube now if you're wanting to change the options because this is going to be a this is the test with Lightstream and this is an unlisted video so this is only going to be available to people that I share the links to but if you do want to make your video public or private or whichever before you send it live you're going to want to set all this up right here and there you go that is really the down and dirty uh, basic overview on how to use this and how simple this is I'm a brand new user I just used this right before I did this video because I feel this information needs to go out because I was looking for different options and I saw this on one site and I took a look at it and I couldn't believe that there hasn't been more attention to this program so um, if you have any questions comments whichever uh, please you know throw it down in the comments below um, if you do like the content here please subscribe that really really helps me out and I'll try to push this out to um, every avenue that I can and uh, get more people familiar with it so it's a super nice interface again it's completely free um, you can see the options up here our private chat and then this is actually through YouTube and it has the integration of the YouTube chat as well so you can actually just stay right here and um, and really run your live stream the entire time and if you want to do other scenes um, you do have your different scene options right here and then if you make any updates to this you're gonna to want to send it to live so for example if I was to edit guest name to say guest dude and now that edit's been done I want to send it to live and it actually updates my live stream live while we're moving this so it's a really really cool feature again super easy super user friendly takes just a couple of minutes to set something like this up and I hope it helps as many people as it can because streaming has been a nightmare for me on the platform and I'm really glad that we were able to get this figured out and get this done so again uh, please like comment subscribe and um, I will be seeing you on my next video